Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. Finally we are back after after a bit of a break from trading and uh, moving to a new house. It's been a very hectic uh, through the three weeks for me but um, finally everything is in place now and we are ready to roll again. So as usual we're gonna go through all the majors including gold and oil. And uh, of course, guys, while I roll the intro and disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. And welcome back guys, um, as you see a quick look at the uh, calendar and uh, we see that not much happening next week. Uh, we have the uh, on Wednesday the uh, BOC rate statement and the overnight rate and on Thursday we have uh, the uh, monetary policy statement and uh, ECB press conference Thursday going to be very very important for the euro so we need to keep an eye on those events. Uh, we will start with the Duke with the Dixie as we always do and uh, we're gonna check the uh, start the weekly and down uh, do a top-down analysis so uh, looking on the weekly chart we see that uh, the Dixie did uh, a, re uh, a retest of this uh, very important range that we had previously back in um, uh, 2015 2016 we tested this area we tested there as well and uh, we still we do not have a real break of this level so this level is still holding as uh, support uh, on the weekly time frame that is um, still showing that we could expect some support here and potential reversal but we're still not really there looking at the daily time frame we see that we have this a uh, little bit of a um, attempts to break lower and uh, it did fails many times one here one here one there and we start having a bullish divergence on the rsi if we check the rsi we see that we have a very strong bullish um, divergence these are just early signs for potential reversal but we still do not have a break above previous highs we still do not have higher highs and higher lows yet on the daily but we could start looking at this potential area for uh, at this area for a potential a breakout uh, what I'm looking for here if the dollar gonna reverse we gonna wait and see if we gonna break at least above the 200 moving average on the four hour and above this previous high this is the first thing the dollar need to do break above that give us a higher low once again and then start moving to the upside if that would be the case then we gonna be uh, strongly bullish on the dollar because after this very strong push to the downside I'm expecting some kind of a correction at least a retest of this area up here before any continuation to the downside so uh, it need a little bit of a, a patience and wait and see because uh, as for now we are still looking at the bearish market but it is sitting at a very important uh, support level as I mentioned we do have the bullish divergence on the RSI daily time frame all that showing a potential of a reversal soon oil failed to break higher so finally we may see oil start moving a little bit been going very slowly sideways here as you see on the daily chart here uh, we can go slightly to the upside but all in all it's been slow and now start reversing to the downside last week looking at the four hour time frame we see that uh, next uh, major um, area on the four hour time frame is down here to retest this level at around 38.50 ish that is the uh, potential support the first potential support to watch and then um, the next level would be uh, this area down here at around the uh, 34 for 50 35 that is the next level but as first let it uh, first reach the market objective which is uh, down here in 3850 uh, look for potential retest and then target down here gold um, not much going on uh, here yet but what we see is this impulse a lower high 
another lower high this is usually something that could break to the downside i'm expecting gold to retest this uh, 1800 area it uh, broke above it and never tested again so looking on the weekly time frame we see that gold did a strong parabolic move and uh, it should uh, do some correction so um, 1800 as a retest area still possible and uh, the pattern on the daily with one lower high second lower high equal lows here usually as i said this is a descending triangle if it breaks below we are looking for a continuation toward 1800 on uh, this market EURUSD uh, is doing the opposite of um, the Dixie so uh, the same here three higher highs but no real breaks and hold and we do have a bearish divergence on the RSI so uh, this um, ascending channel we have here could uh, be a signal for a reversal to the downside soon any break below this could signal another retest of this uh, major level the uh, 1.15 ish area is a potential market objective is if the break happens looking on the four hour time frame we see that uh, these attempts here here we had actually a break to the upside but still no break below this level so for next week a break below the 200 moving average on the four hour and below this support level that signal a return toward 1.15 and that may happen very quickly after the break so keep an eye on this um, idea sterling looking on the weekly time frame we see that it did reach a, a critical level here did a retest of this area what i don't like that it didn't tag above it but it is a um, nice uh, resistance area here going down to the daily we see that the sterling still bullish we have a break above previous high we had a potential retest and maybe continuation to come who knows but uh, this market is still bullish but uh, looking on the four hour time frame we do see that we had a very strong push to the downside another retest and continuation so potentially a uh, deeper correction here before a continuation to the upside and that would be a trade uh, a counter trend a trade if you're gonna short it so be careful so if next week this uh, on the one hour time frame it fails to break and hold above this level it moved back down again then i'm expecting another deeper correction uh, to the downside on this market so keep an eye on that but any break above this uh, that would be uh, maybe a continuation uh, move to the upside to come <coughs> usd jappy sorry guys usd jappy uh, still going uh, sideways inside this range so uh, nothing uh, new here um 105 is support uh 107 is resistance so nothing new looking on the four hour time frame you see it clearly here we have the mid range here we have the top of the range the bottom of the range that's all keep trading that until we have some kind of a breakout sell the high at 107 is my idea buy 105 until we have a, some kind of a break out of it um, there is nothing else to do here until uh, the breakout happen or you keep playing those bounces from the edges of the range usd chief also still inside the range here looking on the daily time frame we see that it is also doing the same as we saw on the dixie so bullish divergence a couple of attempts to break lower it failed here so um there is an early signal for potential reversal here but to be sure about that i would uh, wait for a break out of this range then look for a retest and continuation or at least at least a break out of this okay so wait for this to break then retest and continuation okay so um, pretty straightforward here and um, th <clears throat> this idea would be invalid if this market will go break below this level then that will uh, signal a continuation to the downside because all in all we should not forget we are in a, a bearish daily trend here but as i said there is early signs that we may see a reversal to the upside or some kind of a correction based on that uh, bullish very strong bullish divergence on the daily 
So USD CAD uh, sitting at uh, potential support, looking at the weekly time frame, this area been tested uh, here previously, and it is a strong level. The last time this market tested this level, we've got this whole move here. So keep an eye on this level. Looking on the daily time frame, Thursday was a nice bullish engulfing candle. Friday was a, a return back down, but still no break. As far as this level is holding as support, we may see some kind of bounce to the upside from this area. For our time frame, we're still in a overall bearish trend. But last week, as I said, we had this break higher high higher low now retest if this keep holding we may see continuation to the upside but if you see this uh, level here broken to the downside then we are looking for a continuation in the direction of the main trend Aussie USD the trend is still bullish we had a break above previous highs um, and uh, we did have also a retest so uh, the the trend here is definitely a bullish trend but if we look left uh, and check where we are at we start uh, heading toward a pretty uh, interesting area here uh, looking left uh, this level uh, all these levels been tested uh, many times uh, the both support and resistance so it is a also a critical area here and um, a correction from this level um, would not be uh, something um, unusual okay but as we had uh, the break on the daily the retest is still holding above the high the main direction should be bullish uh, but if we go down to the four hour time frame and check we see that we had a pretty strong uh, retest this is the the only thing that uh, it is a little bit worrying because it was a pretty strong uh, dip to the downside uh, the momentum of it is not a correction momentum so what i'm afraid of if you're gonna go long here that uh, you will uh, end up being in some kind of a correction and another leg to the downside so keep an eye on that uh, the main trend as i said is bullish and you could try to go long but be aware of potential a b c d leg before any continuation to the upside my uh, uh, my way of seeing this is a potential retest toward this area actually uh, a some kind of a correction even further down new zealand usd same scenario here we have a breakout uh, on the daily but it also reached a pretty interesting level looking left we uh, we have uh, this very important level that got tested also here and here it is a pretty interesting resistance area so as far as there is no break above these levels here uh, we may see one more to the downside some kind of a range here so um, if there is no break above this uh, previous high then i'm expecting this market to um, give us a little bit more downside once again but if it break higher you just keep buying those dips on this market because you would be trading with um, the direction of the main trend okay so um, yeah guys that was it for the youtube version of this video uh, as usual i will keep doing the rest for our trading room all these charts and uh, these are these updates these videos you have on sundays uh, our trading room get those each and every day every morning they got all these charts and uh, yeah if you want to try that we still have the uh, 14 days trial for one dollar only and um, cancel whenever you want no questions no nothing just you can just cancel if you don't like the trading room so give it a chance try us and see how we work thanks a lot guys see you next week bye bye